I really enjoy lock picking. I remember doing it back when I was in high school. And so doing it again as an adult brings back memories. Hi, my name is Philip Hollander. I'm a mechanical engineer and I live in Silver Spring, Maryland. When I lock pick, I feel a range of emotions. Sometimes I feel calm because it's a nice, quiet thing to do. But sometimes I feel frustrated because it can be very difficult. As a kid, I was fascinated by Harry Houdini. I loved reading and learning about him. I read everything I could about him. I started lock picking recently because I felt perhaps a bit locked in and trapped um, and wanted something to do. We are no longer asking or suggesting that Marylanders stay home. We are directing them. Lock picking does not need to be difficult. Um, however, uh, there are certain levels of locks that uh, require more and more practice and more difficult techniques. Uh, my son and I came across a complex lock uh, on a bike that we, uh, that we got and uh, we just we couldn't pick it because we didn't have the equipment to do so. Um, so we actually spent a number of hours. We, we thought originally it was a simple lock and we realized after a while that we just didn't have the, the equipment. These are two of the most basic tools used in lock picking. The first one here is called a tensioner, and the second one here is called a rake. The tensioner or tension wrench is used to put into the lock to hold tension to try to turn it as you're doing the picking. The second one here, the, the rake, is what you would use to put inside and rake the pins or to push up against the pins, um, which is what's actually doing the picking. Try again. Yeah.